Good morning from Rottnest Island. If you saw our video yesterday, we arrived and rode around the entire island. Spoiler alert, it was a little harder than we bargained for. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I spoke way too soon. We just had to climb up so many hills, but we made it and it was absolutely awesome. Today we are leaving, but we have pretty much the entire day here. So we're spending the morning to go look for some quokkas. If you don't know what quokkas are, they are basically these really adorable little marsupial animals that are native to this island. We saw a few yesterday, but we're hoping to see a lot more today. There are plenty of them around our hotel, but we're walking a little bit further into the settlement to see if we can find some more. No dice on any new ones that we haven't seen yet, but we're glad we saw three earlier today. They are absolutely adorable. We think we think as the day goes on, they start to like kind of go away from civilization and start to sleep for like the day, because it's what they do. So as the day goes on, we're not gonna see many more, but it was good that we saw a few. We are back at the hotel restaurant here at Samphire Rotnest. It is called Lantara. We ate dinner here last night and it was delicious, so we are hoping breakfast is the same. I know it will be, baby. I'm starving. We both got juices because it's already hot this morning, but the temperature is so perfect right now. Well, we were heading back to the room after breakfast, but then we found this little guy on the way, so we had to stop and say hi. They're so cute. Just chilling. Hey, little guy. <laughs> it is absolutely going to town on this grass. Just eating it up. Look at you. We have to check out, so we are gonna be hanging by the pool for the next like four hours. Our ferry tonight is at five. We purposely booked a later one today, so we have kind of just all day to relax, but unfortunately we have to leave the room at 11, so. But that's why I got the cabana. Sarah did come down early, got the cabana, so. I was unnecessarily stressed about it. Sarah was so stressed. Like we went to breakfast, she came and checked the pool. They have a sign that says you can't save seats. Then she was like, came back out later to just check it out to see. So, crisis averted. We have made it all as well. She said, what table are you sitting at? And I said, right over there with the man sitting in it. And, he, and she said, oh, the cabana with the gentleman. <laughs> I was like, yep, my gentleman. Just looking like a real gentleman over here. Well, look at these zebra stripes going on. Hmm. How fun is that? Sarah just found out that the pizza they have is unfortunately not celiac safe. It's gluten-free crust, but they can't make it properly for celiac, so she's now trying to figure it out what she's gonna get, but I actually don't even know where she just went. My food just got here, and it smells awesome. They won't give me the pizza. What up? Too much flour in the kitchen. Okay, we have to leave soon. We're leaving in about 30 minutes or so, and Sarah peer pressured us into getting some drinks. And of course I said yes, because I fall victim to peer pressure. <laughs> Sorry. We've seen them coming out all day, like these ex really extravagant frozen drinks, and then we just had to get one. So I got a strawberry daiquiri, and... I got the espresso frap. Oh. so I'm gonna be awake all night. They're, re <laughs> They're really drippy, so, you know, we gotta go like this. Okay, one second. I wanna take a quick minute here to talk about my favorite travel clothing, Cuts. I've been wearing Cuts for the past two years now and I'm absolutely obsessed with everything they make. From their t-shirts to their pants to their hoodies, everything is super comfortable, lightweight, and looks great. My absolute favorite part is how minimalistic they are. They're solid color prints with no big bulky logos on them, so they look great in any situation. All throughout our travels in Australia, I wore cuts. I wore their t-shirts, their pants, and their hoodie, like I said, and it has been amazing for all types of weather that we have been in. Australia, as you have seen, has been hot, humid, cold, windy, rainy, everything in between, and their pants, hoodies, and shirts have kept up with me very well. So if you're looking for the best clothes to travel with, head to the link in the description below or use code KJ and Sarah at checkout for 15% off your order and let us know what you think. Anyways, back to the video. Sadly, our time on Rottnest Island has come to an end. Gotta catch the quick ferry back to Fremantle.
your eyes right on the horizon when you can see it. Okay? I mean, you won't get some. <laughs> oh, I felt that in my stomach. <laughs> a little bumpy. Oh, I felt it. Yeah, it felt like I was on a roller coaster. <laughs> They said on the announcement, they said it was going to be a little choppy, but... Well, that was quite the uh, little rocky adventure there that we weren't expecting to have. Oh, it was really bumpy. <laughs> I don't know what the stomach's doing, but it is not happy. <laughs> Just gotta take deep breaths. Hello. How are you? Thank you. There you are. Made it to our Airbnb. We're staying in Scarborough, which is a little bit north of Perth. And it took about 25 minutes to get here from the ferry. We took an Uber here because it was three times as fast as public transit and it's kind of later in the day. So we're not really sure what time public transit closes. So we ultimately decided to just Uber here, super easy. But let's give you a quick tour before we shower and have some dinner. So first you can come in through one of two doors that this apartment has. We think it used to be something else and it was renovated recently. We know that it was renovated a few months ago, so here we go. We're right in the living room right now. There's a couch, there's a huge TV, as well as like a mini bar area with laundry, which we desperately need. Coming into the first bedroom of two, we have a decent sized room with lots of shelving and it's pretty big. And then there's a bathroom right behind it. And I'm not sure why the showers don't have doors to stop the water from coming out, but it's nice in here, very updated. And yeah, I never really understand the whole like open shower concept. It just sprays water everywhere. Like I just, you know, just put a door. There's already a third of the glass here. Just chuck it on there. There's like, <laughs> there we go. I don't know, there's a huge walkway. Like this whole place is just, I think we're in like a little bit of a hotel. And this room is like right on the edge of all the popular walking paths, so. I'm not like loving that. Oh, the hosts are making up for it because they left us little notes that says, welcome Sarah and family. And then they left us little snacks. Family. So moving on into like the second little area, we have the kitchen and we have a huge table. I don't think we're hosting anyone, but you really could. And then we have a bunch of shelves on the side. We have people literally walking right there. We have the fridge on this side and we have a washer, which is key. And then the stove top and oven are actually over here with the microwave and sink. So a little bit spread out. We also think that we're on Airbnb. It's like one apartment, but this was two or is still two because there's this door right here in between the two that like shuts and has a lock. So we just have both, which is why we have like two washers and then two kind of kitchens. One's a full kitchen, one's a kitchenette. Oh, you have two washers. Yeah. I know I just did the tour, but I hadn't really processed that. Oh, it's kind of nice. We can really get our laundry going. <laughs> two loads at once, baby. <laughs> Slide. And then right behind me is the bedroom, which is, looks like two twins stacked up next to each other. And there you go. Turn the light on here. Well, I can't wait to have my own bedroom tonight. True. It's gonna be sick. We're actually gonna stay in the same bedroom but just move the beds apart true yeah spread those puppies out leave room for jesus yeah always they also gave beach towels and towels for the shower so that's really nice and then we have a second bathroom literally looks identical so cheers to that and that's kind of it that's our place for the next two nights also i just realized we can both shower at the same time in different showers oh that's nice that's electric that's electric shower time all right, that felt good. Water pressure was good. Bathroom floor though, wet. wet. <laughs> also, we see these trees all over Australia and they just look so fake. Like, tell me this is like a real looking tree, you know? It's just like almost too perfect, I think. I think that's the problem, is that they're like so perfectly flat and like added right the, and at like a good angle. The branches come out like systematically like there's four on each side yeah it's like just it's geometric they're like too perfect to be real 
Sunsets right over the ocean are such a treat for us East Coast folk. It's a little windy. I, the wind literally just blew me over. I won't lie, that was very short lived. Fake trees out here. On the bananas, the bananas bruise easily. Sorry. Got our groceries, now we're gonna make some dinner, do some laundry, and then go to bed. Cause today was a good day, but we're tired. Rodness Island was awesome, highly recommend doing it. I think in an ideal world, we would have stayed for two nights, mm. but our hotel room for one night was 400 US dollars, mm. which is something that we don't ever do. <laughs> That's way expensive, but we knew we wanted to have that experience, so we prioritized it. But I think it was just like a little awkward with the ferry times, like, and our check-in being 3 p.m. yesterday and our check-out being 11 a.m. today. Mm -hmm. like, And we knew we wanted to stay on the island longer, so that's why we had the 5 p.m. ferry time today. But like, it's just kind of awkward because you have your luggage and then like, we didn't ch like we were just kind of greasy all day, so, <laughs> you know. Absolutely. You can do what we did and we just like dropped our luggage off and rode around on the island, which is awesome. But I think it would be ideal like if you took a late afternoon ferry the first day, get there after three, check-in, hang out by the pool, get dinner, and then you have another full day a to do, day. like the biking, the beach, like whatever. And then the last day, if you take a later ferry or an early ferry, whichever you decide, hang mm -hmm. out by the pool, so. Two nights would definitely be ideal, but one night was awesome. Definitely like, we did everything we wanted to do, mm -hmm. which was great. You could definitely do it in one day too. There were a ton of people that were doing it for one day, so mm -hmm. it really is super dependent on your time, budget, and just like your priorities and what you want to do on the island, but it's worth visiting for any amount of time, I think, that you're there. Excited to explore more Perth tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. So we will see you then. Nice. Good night. Apparently I'm, I'm just the gentleman in the cabana now. No names needed. Please don't break the TV. <laughs> you okay? Oops. I don't know, this seems like a very precarious spot. Yeah, it is. Um, what should I do? Should I snap or like, what do you think? Like, I think what? I'm gonna jump. You're gonna jump? Yeah. All right, I'll snap. Okay. Shower time. <laughs> what happens? You're supposed to do it at the same time, you silly goose. Okay, okay. I'm gonna say shower time. Yep. Yeah.